What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at MIUI 11 China Beta on our Pocophone F1. So if you don't already know, Pocophone F1 is only a global product or an Indian product. So it's not actually available in China. So there are no China Beta belts for it. As Global Beta has been just completely discontinued since July in order that MIUI developers now can focus on the stable builds much more easier and earlier. That's why we would be seeing global stable updates around like October end for majority of the devices like the K20 Pro or the Pocophone F1. But until then, if you just can't wait, here you go, MIUI 11 on Pocophone F1. Cause most of you guys were actually upset that in my last video, few of the guys thought that in thumbnail that's a Pocophone F1, but that's my sold Redmi Note 6 Pro, which also doesn't have a China beta cause not being a China product. But for those devices, you can of course flash a GSI. But right now here, as you can see, it's a Mi 8 port. Now I did actually do a Mi 8 port myself cause both of the devices being internally almost the same. But as I was just lazy enough to just not fix any of the rest bugs, like for example, the camera is a bit different, the speakers and rest of the bugs like the Volti and things, I just didn't upload it anywhere and showed it to you guys on Instagram. So again, if you just don't follow me on Instagram, you are just missing on, on bunch of the stuff. So again, over here, as you can see, pretty much normal home screen. This is how MIUI level looks. So if you have used Poco for MIUI for longest time or since you have bought this phone, you do miss on a lot of the animations and it's just extremely quick. So it's a great time if you just want to check out the MIUI's beautiful animations, which are as close to being as smooth as iOS, this is the great chance. So again, over here, as you can see, you don't get Poco launcher as being a China ROM. So you do get iOS like app drawer on the left, you do have Apple and look at the touch screen like it's so smooth. This is just amazing. Again, you get date and the weather sometimes if you just hold on, there you go. Clear weather, you can directly access it over here too. And the apps do look amazing as you can see, very beautiful animations and the ROM is extremely quick. Like for example, even as you can see, it just opens the apps at lightning speed. Then again, if you just scroll down over here, there you go, you get all the shortcuts. Here are all the cards. You won't be getting as same as this on the official MIUI 11 update. As in the global markets, it would be almost same as before, like the MIUI 10. But the performance over here is on par, like literally here is my K20 Pro. Again, side by side. What a display. Again, for some odd weird reason, into the MIUI 11, the anti-flicker mode is kind of broken. Yep, as you can see, just doesn't do anything. But for performance sake, as you can see, pretty much both of them are just extremely fast none of them like feel obsolete at all and i mean that in a sense that snapdragon 855 plus is like miles ahead than the 855 like i just don't know what qualcomm has in hands for the snapdragon 865 but as you can see over here the icons are completely now updated they do look a bit childish but i mean we have to have a bit of a change so again going through the apps and stuff you do get more features over here such as as you can see month view which is now also onto the global stable update but you do get memories right over here so you have collage and clip as before and then you have discover so directly hopping on to the more apps like security app again you have two page over here just like any kind of another MIUI 11 device so it just doesn't get cluttered on the bottom so you do have your daily usage options right over here such as data usage battery and performance pretty great again you have your normal game turbo not the one which Poco gets as being a Mi 8. So again, going to the battery and performance, the battery life that this ROM is giving is just amazing. Like the idle battery then was almost none. So here you still do get options for more battery saving like battery saver and ultra battery saver, which is none of the use on LCD panels, but pretty much limits everything in the background. As you can see, it just cuts down everything from beside and there you go. You have a very simplistic UI and you can actually use pretty much all the apps right over here, like even the camera. Let's just go back to the normal mode pretty fast. Like this phone is just blazing. It was kind of disappointment in terms of build quality of the display, but this phone is like one of the fastest phones from last year. But then again, pretty much all the apps do get updated from the Mi store. Like you do have feedback app as services feedback and Mi account, which is just weird, but you do get game launcher again magix is pretty needed in this rom cause if you don't install magix you won't be able to fix the camera or it would cause many safety net related issues like you won't be able to sign into the xiaomi account and various of stuff so magix is actually needed right over here again this rom doesn't have any kind of support of gcam so i did actually try myself to looking through the hulls but i just found nothing the gcam just doesn't work on it i tried many new bases of gcam then again Gcams for Pocophone F1, Gcams for Redmi Note 7 Pro, Gcams for Mi 8, none of them work right over here. It just doesn't open at all. So again, the camera is a bit wonky right over here. So pretty much an easy fix for it. Flash a full NX camera. 
which pretty much has all the features of the MIUI 11 based on Android Q. So for example, if you now go to the video and stuff, you can quickly toggle video resolution right over here as you get on the phone switch actually support 4K60. Then you have short video, which doesn't have the newer features. So a bit weird over there, but you do get night portrait mode is also working which on the Mi 8 camera would just completely crash the camera. So again, you do have Mi Moji integration right over here. Pretty great. All the latest things that you get. So directly hopping on to the settings app. Again, as you can see, a very new UI. You have your account right over there, My Device. This is a September 25th build, but going to the all specs, you have Android version 9, not the Q. Mi 8 also still doesn't have an Android Q. I guess Pocophone F1 would actually get before the Mi 8. So you have to just check that. Then again, pretty much everything is just normal. September 1 patch. So directly going back, you have content and sharing in that you do get me share. So again, you can pretty much share apps, photos, everything between Vivo, Realme, Oppo or Xiaomi devices. You don't need any kind of third party app for it. And it's, I guess, around 80 Mbps of speed. So that's pretty amazing. Kind of like Samsung's Wi-Fi Direct and AirDrop. So now directly scrolling down, you have lock screen and stuff over here. Pretty much everything related to the ambient display has been completely removed as it won't actually work on the LCD panel or even if it worked, you guys would just check it and burn your displays. So developer completely removed it. So thanks for that. Again, going to the display, you do have dark mode, which is completely missing into the global stable updates and good news. It would be coming into the MI 11 with again, new display driver. So it won't cause any kind of bleed now as mine was first flash cell device. It did have a lot of bugs. Like for example, there was a screen bleed right over here. Then again, bleeds right over here too. But as you can see right now, completely black. Like Xiaomi has done such an amazing job in fixing a hardware through software updates. So again over here, as you can see, pretty much turns everything to black. There is no global force dark mode as this is Android Pie. So you won't be able to turn any kind of app which doesn't actually support to dark mode. Like for example, security app, they would just still stay the same. But pretty much most of the apps will actually turn dark. So directly switching it back, let's just go back. You have color scheme broken, then again notification status bar, and then you get suggestions, which are just like one UI. So now going back, you have sounds and vibrations. In that, you get a completely new UI. So you get a very childish like UI for this, and you get tabs for all the alarm notifications and events. So for example, if you now go here, you get uh, these. Yeah, I don't know whether it's made for a toddler or not, but certainly. A 30 year old businessman won't actually like it, which is kind of the segment of who owns a Mi 8 or a Mix 3 in China. So directly going down notifications, again, what you get into the last MIU 10 betas as we don't have anything for Poco Fun F1 being a global product. So directly going back home screen, pretty much nothing wallpapers. Again, you do get wallpapers that are added to the MIU 11. As you can see, they look pretty good and you won't be getting any of them into the MIU for Poco 11. Yep, these are MI11 China wallpapers and they do look great. So going back, again, privacy and security face unlock is completely broken. So again, this is an initial build and developer will fix this into the upcoming updates. But fingerprint unlock does actually work over here. Again, if you tap the fingerprint scanner, it will give you a bit of a haptic feedback. That is one of the bugs. Then again, scrolling down, pretty much nothing, additional settings, nothing. You have MI AI assistant, which is of no use in global markets. Then you have screen time, which is Xiaomi's replacement for the digital well-being, which is now also added or the global stable updates of the Pocophone F1, which is pretty great. So you won't be seeing this into the official stable update too. Then you have special features in that you have game turbo tap plus, which is like a Chinese service, quick replies, which are now updated. Yeah. The infographic over here has now completely updated. Yeah. So basically it opens the half of the screen, just like one plus once you get notification from any kind of messaging gap. So again, going back, you have second space, skate space is now completely updated, which is again pretty good. So again, going back MIU lab, you pretty much have everything like car mode, photos and gallery. Nothing has been added as of MIU 11. And that's pretty much it. It has tons of animations and optimizations throughout the system, but we have to actually see what you get for the Poco F1 officially into the next month. But until then, if you want to install this again, the installation is extremely simple. You have to just unlock the bootloader of your phone and install the two-up recovery. Once you do that, just boot to the top recovery like you normally do by pressing power and volume up at the same time. Just like that, once you go to the recovery, you have to just go to wipe, advanced wipe, dial week, cache, system, data, just wipe to wipe. No need of internal storage as latest two ups for the Pocophone F1 are actually managing to decrypt the data. So that's pretty good. So directly going back, going to the install, you have to just scroll down to the ROM and select MIU 11 port for Pocophone F1, add more zips, 
flash the June 10 firmware. This is kind of necessary as uh, my port didn't actually need it, but I guess to fix some sound related issues, developer has actually said to just add these, then again add more zips, add disable force encryption and magics. Just swipe to flash. Once all the zips have been installed, just swipe to unlock, go back, go to mount, mount system and vendor, also just mount everything. Just go home, go to install again and flash notch fix. This will actually fix the notch which is a bit bigger on the Mi 8 like about 2-3 to millimeters. So again confirm to flash. Once that is done, just reboot system, do not install. And voila, you have successfully updated your Pocophone F1 to MIUI 11. And the ROM has been booted in almost no time so let's just set it up quickly. English, next, skip, next, next, skip, next, skip. Skip, next, next, full screen gestures, skip, okay, there you go, just swipe up to enter, let me just adjust the brightness a bit, there you go, you are successfully booted into the MIUI 11. Now again, just to fix the camera, you can just always go to magics, go to modules, and add the full ANX camera, again, why is my brightness still so low? So again, one of the bugs, it doesn't go to the full max brightness that the Pocophone F1 has to offer show internal storage then you can get the option for me file manager and just select the full length camera which would be around 200 mbs hit ok reboot the system and the phone has been booted up back again and yeah guys that's pretty much it on how you can install moe 11 on poco phone f1 i hope you guys enjoyed if you found this helpful please drop a like see you guys in the next one peace